It is a beautiful December morning. It is super calm out and I'm gonna go for a paddle. I'm gonna go check out one of the islands way over there. It's gonna be fun. All these birdhouses are for the uh, purple martins, I believe. They were like an endangered sort of bird species that I guess has been on to a good, good amount of recovery. It's getting a bit close. Really cool to pass though. A little bit of contact, just a little bit, but it's all right. Got a little downwind approach, so it's paddling easy when you don't have to paddle. <laughs> So, kind of uh, journey down to the middle of the strait here, going over to that closest island, which is called Mod Island. It's a beautiful spot with some nice little gems. Uh, should be out there in 20 minutes. I will uh, tune back in with you then. Uh, right now, it's quite a hard to paddle and film at the same time. I only got two hands, arms, maybe a leg. I don't know what I could use, but didn't really come prepared. <laughs> this is the whole Georgia Strait, though. I can show you that. All the way over, there's Nanus Bay, over the other side, coming over to the Sunshine Coast. Got Sea Shelt. Clouds just look beautiful, the sun's shining off, it's great. Vancouver's way over there in the distance, you can't see it today, but it's there. Almost there. What's up, homies? Sometimes they'll come right up to you. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Better check me out. <laughs> Yay, you guys see some nature. Holy <laughs> oh, shit. Hello. That was really cool. I love this spot. It's a little bay, super tranquil. No one's really here at this time of the year. Just around the corner, there's a cool little cave, and I'm gonna show that to you as well. Lucky you guys, it's kind of top secret. Check it out, it's another really cool spot. Cave doesn't go on very far, but it's still cool to check out. Those rocks are pretty good for rock climbing too, if you're into that kind of stuff. So, that was Mott Island. A little quick, short visit. Didn't even put a foot on land, but that's all right. Heading away now from Maud, and we're gonna make our way over to uh, South Island. Way right there. Oh, hey. Wow. Bird just like came up right in front of me. That's lucky. Shh, don't scare it away. Here's another bay presented to you by South Island. It is beautiful. I love it here. Um, this is probably my most favorite island of all the islands just because it's such a cool place to hang out. There's like camping spots and trees and abuse trees everywhere. Some pretty cool logs. And uh, oysters. I love oysters. And tide's high, but I think I can scrounge some up. <laughs> if I get lucky here, maybe I'll get a shallow one. So I'm gonna try to do some oyster hunting. Um, right now the tide's pretty high, so can't just walk down to the beach and pick one off the rocks. There's a couple loose oysters just on the bottom here. It's uh, still pretty deep. I think just like an arm length. So I'm gonna try to just sort of paddle it up. 
where are we at here? Ooh, that's a bit much. Remember, it's December and bloody cold out, so... I'm gonna just see if I can scurry this oyster up into shallower water and reach in and... Oh man, I don't wanna get wet. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, and it's a full oyster too. Sweet! The water isn't actually that bad. Um, it's like four degrees out, but yeah, it's, it's refreshing. Really refreshing. <laughs> Look at that. Looks delicious. Do you like raw oysters? I love raw oysters, and I'm gonna eat that. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful. Raw oyster, you yeah, have baby. Probably the last one of the year too. So, so people are always worried about red tide and all this stuff. Right now it's December, so it's not really a thing. I checked the closures, it's uh, pretty okay. Another way, don't trust me on this, but I heard if you take the little black part there and you roll it against your lips like that, and then your lips go numb, that means it is um, got the bacteria build up in it or whatever it is from red tide. Um, I would say that one's a good one to eat, so bottoms up. Mmm. So good. So generally at low tide, there's a lot of cool or tidal pools and uh, rocks you can sort of flip over and there's tons of little creatures underneath. Um, the tide again is pretty high right now, but you know, you can always just flip over a rock and you'll never know what you'll find. It takes a couple. We got any crabs? There's a little crab in there. Check them out. Hey buddy. Look at him. Look at him. So tiny. There we go. Just clean onto my finger. Just a little guy. Oh, yeah, that little beach, beach glass. Still kind of sharp. I'll let it sit for a bit and I'll come back for it once it's uh, more beachy. <laughs> so it's getting towards the end of the day. I uh, sort of around to all the islands, or well, at least the two. Didn't actually get to the third one. Um, I'm kind of running out of time because I got to go to dinner. But, uh, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my local spot and where I like to hang out. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Lost that one. <laughs> That's cool though. I like to find little stuff. This one looks slippery. I like to play around. I like to play on nature. This is one of my favorite things. You find a slippery log and you just try to like slip down it Ugh. let's see what I can do here cool 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 All right, so that was a great way to end it, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, gotta show you around. Gotta play a bit, eat some oysters. It was a good day.